Hey guys, how you doing? Admiral here. Today we're watching a replay of a 1v1 game between me and Outlaw on St. Mary Glees. I am playing the first SSB and Outlaw is playing the 352nd Infantry. Now, at the very beginning here, Outlaw, he really buffed up his right side. And I, uh, you'll see in, later in the game, he uh, pushed me back here. Pretty hard, but you know we'll, we'll go to the game as it goes. Uh, find it kind of weird uh, commentating over my own game, but you know what I have access to right now, and I think uh, it was a really good game, so I want to commentate over it. And here we go. I'm gonna slow it down now. I just wanted to speed up deployment a little bit. So I started off sending a support tank to uh, my left flank to support my infantry push. I was gonna try to flank around uh, his city here. And he uh, really left his uh, left flank really open, and for so my right flank could push pretty hard in. Here, guys, you'll see. But uh, the city, the city battle, I think, is where most of the action uh, took place for the majority of this game. You know. So, what is uh home day as it you know goes on? Things that are happening. Now see, what I really like about the SSB is that they have a really, really strong A phase. Now they have really strong units in their B phase, but they have such a low income that it's hard to get them out. But you, if you build up enough when you, um, in the A phase your points, you can send out those strong units in B phase, like the Rocket Barrage that you'll see later on. It is just a devastating unit that I really, I really, really love. But the thing for the second, I, I main that on, on Axis. And, uh, it's just, I, I love it too. So there's two really great battle groups here fighting with each other. Uh, and it's a pretty good game, I think. So, coming up here, I don't really know why he doesn't uh, pull his infantry back. Kind of just lets him die. I don't know why he would do that. Let's see, this, uh, this flank here, he's just kind of keeping keep still for both of us. We don't have many units on the, you know, either of us. He's kind of keeping it still here. I mean, fighting over here in the city. See here, I don't understand. Maybe he was a little maybe he was micromanaging in the city, but he just doesn't pull back the units. I see here, he tries to, but I think he can still catch him. I might not. So I get him to one strength, but I don't know why it took so long to pull it back. So he's trying to reinforce it now. My already barrage from this mortar. 3 inch mortar is just really, really great if he's unit. He's just, I'm just pinning him down, trying to push forward. I don't even have my infantry. He is by far outnumbers me, but this, the artillery is this great, great advantage. This, which he doesn't, he doesn't have. He how he has the tank, but he's scared to push forward. I think he sees my um my Buster here. So let's actually see if he can actually see it or not. No, he can't. But he might have saw it earlier. So I just assume he just doesn't want to push forward, risk risking his tank. So yeah, I'm pushing back his infantry still up here in this flank. He's uh, yeah, see, he's bringing in uh, bringing in more and more. He's actually bringing in tanks now. Panzer 35s. I never have really favored them. I don't run them in my uh, battle group at 352nd. I don't like them myself. But uh, let's see how he uses them here. And I see how he's bringing a mortar to counter mine. But I'm now bringing in a Sherman and some more infantry to push into the city. Flank still pretty dead. Again, here I get. He's, I guess he's gonna distract him to get his other units in. But he's just letting his units die here. I don't really understand that. There, now he's pulling his back. Take a flame troop there. Oh, you have to flank around and keep the guys He's just not really using his Panzer III effectively. He's not using it to engage the units he needs to, which I think was a very big mistake on his part. I think he was just too scared of losing it, but now I think he just will anyway. So yeah, I think he's gonna get away here. He then his motor is printing down my man, but I'm just pushing forward. Gaining ground here in the city, he's falling back out of the city, but he has already control of it. Yeah, I believe 
I'm sending some units to the south for a push now. I took down my mortar with this tank, but I still did my thing good use out of it. Let's see, what can what can he see? See, he can't see me very much, even my Sherman, which I think is a very big problem for him. He doesn't know what's really coming. Now this, oh, I just his units are so bunched up. I guess he, I guess he's just trying to push here. But I'm just putting his units down. He's just wasted that MG. He uses his tanks yet. I'm not gonna aim him, but I don't even think he realizes it. I finally found a scout. MG's down. He swung back out of the city. The support things is devastating these units. It's, they're all just nuts. So my, my guys here are pinned down, but see, I know when to pull them back. I know that these tanks can take out my guys. So I'm gonna move them back to where they're not able to be shot, but they're safe. But I know this because I'm running out of ammo soon, so they can't really do much. But this tank is very really focused on taking the town. I just I don't really understand why he punched them up so much. <sighs> Snipers taking in the remainders in the city. Still haven't pushed over here though. Uh, now my Sherman's taking fire. <sighs> it's blowing through his units over here. No, oh, if I was setting up my mortar, I think I forgot to. I'm moving up my sensor. He's still keeping his tanks there. No, I think he's moving them forward now. And he's in the tank gun. Let's see what he does with them. Let's see what I can see here. Oh, yeah, I don't even know the AT. Oh. And the is there. Uh, he's trying to gain this ground here with his tanks. Uh, I think my centaur is just too strong for his tanks to push past. Oh, he's knocked my crew out of my Sherman. Let's see if it survives. Oof, that's not good. He is. Yeah, he's a pretty. I think his Sherman's dead. Done for. He's pretty effectively. You didn't know? Wasn't enough. The armor. The distance he was at was like, uh, just. Now I'm seeing that I'm pushing forward again. I'm completely foiled. Just push up on the north. Bringing in some recon to see what's in the city, I believe. So you can see my units here, and even my ammo truck. Yeah, he doesn't bring in artillery. But at least he pulls back his units finally. I take out his MG. And I believe I'm just gonna hold the line here for a bit. He's still he's not trying to reinforce this flank at all and pushing in. And he's not trying to reload his mortar at all. I'm not reusing my tank though, I must be micromanaging, yeah, I'll get micromanaging up here. He still has his two tanks though, so he's doing that pretty well. He's lost the AT gun however, and his infantry has been devastated. Oh, there. Now he's bringing in artillery, or maybe infantry guns, along with AT guns. Uh, I guess he's finally taking my Centaur. There he goes. Centaur down. I, I think that's a real advantage for him. I think now he'll be able to actually get these AT guns in effectively to take out. The problem is, I don't really have any more tanks. Um, I think he needs more infantry and artillery. Would, would be the best thing to be able to take out my lines from what information he has. He can't really actually see anything right now. When I can see all of his tanks. Protect the gun. Just, I guess I just never found out how weak this flank was for him. <laughs> I 
Yeah, for the longest time I remember believing this was full of infantry, but I guess it wasn't. Oh. Uh, I'm questioning what this guy's doing now. Outlaw man. Moving your trucks in front of the tree line instead of behind it. Well, at least he's now pushing forward over here with his tanks. Because my centaur is down, I don't have any AT. I think he's found this out with his recon plane. Yes, yeah, yes he has. I'm bringing in a Sherman 5 and a stag hound to help. Where's this one going? Ah, I'm finally pushing in on this flank, alright. I think he's bringing infantry now to reinforce the town. I think he's going for a comeback here in the beginnings of phase B. Ah, yes, he sees my tank, so he's bringing in some AT. It's a good thing to know he's a reactive at least. He's flying his artillery to one of the towns. So yeah, I think he's gonna have effective comeback here in. Base B. There goes my truck. Yes. Interesting spot for this thing. I like where this one is. It covers this entire side of the tree line. But this one this is blocked off by the hedgerows, I believe. No, uh, that is something. It's the best line of sight, but it's okay. I'm just gonna take it down anyway. This recon is taking out. Uh, oh! His AT is taking out my Sherman's weapons! Takes it out! Are you paying attention down here? So he, uh, I tried to push, but he took out my Sherman with that Panzer Shrek. That's a terrible point loss for me. Good. Come back for him on that. Now he's gonna reinforce that front that he's that I'm pushing. So he might have a chance on winning with this side, and he, but he just lost his Beth Panzer. And he's just holding this tree line. He doesn't have much hold over here anymore. He's, he's kind of lost it. Not, he's not using his packs or his IGs. Wow, it takes out my Sherman 5 immediately with that Jew. Junker is just two two stars, man. Is it gonna take out this Sherman too? Is it going to this Sherman DD? Yeah, there it goes. Two tanks with one Junker. This might be a comeback for him. He's gonna try to push me out of this flank and control. Maybe flank around to the city. I don't. I was not really taking advantage of what I have here. Surrender here. I think there's one. Oh, yeah, there's a sharp trip there. I don't know why that doesn't just move into the tree line with one of them at least. Like, the others pin them down much, much more effective to do that. His AT guns again. Yeah, his AT guns down as I push in up here. Trying to bring in more mortars, suppress my city, maybe take it back. But yeah, he's just letting his infantry sit out in the open. And this is where I bring in the rocket barrage. This is the strong suit of the first SSB, in my opinion. I think it is their greatest pushing point in the game, and if you do not use it to push, and your push does not go well with it, then I think you will 
will honestly lose that duel or whatever game you're in if you do not use that rocket strike how you should. I think it is the one of the main parts of the first SSB. It is just such an overwhelming suppression and it's, it makes all units pinned down and fall back in this humongous area. Even though it's a one-time use, it is such a humongous area of influence on the map, especially in a 1v1. That if you do not this, if you don't use it correctly, it could cost you the game. Even though it, how hard it could be to use it incorrectly, how large it is, it's just it is um, what I base this battle group around. This strong push and B. That's why I have the strong infantry line set up here. So after I have the rocket strike come down. I can push in. Uh, he is taking out my recon down here. That's, a, that's good for him. My men won't have sight anymore. Let's see. Rocket barrage incoming here. That will. Oh, his entire army is in there. I have taken out his entire flank up here. And he's well, he's running a martyr to take out my tanks. And he's an AT gun. But. If, and his, he's. Trying to come back down here, and he um, I'm trying to reinforce it, but as of right now, he has some majority control, and he's probably going to push my men out. But uh, let's here we come with the rocket strike. <laughs> Such an amazing off map. I think it is the best one in the game. Every single unit. Pinned down. This humongous area. I didn't even mean to get this guy. I only knew these were here. Um, I uh, rush this Humber through. Try to get as many surrenders as I can. I drop the recon off and then I rush in, I believe. Yes, I do. No, I actually pushed his infantry back down here too. His push failed. Oh. Surrender there. Get a surrender there. Oh, his Jew comes in and takes it out. Saved his day. I would have surrendered all his artillery. Good use of the Junker. He's gonna come and take out my Dingo too. He uses his junk very effectively. I believe I'll take it out of here with my fighter. <laughs> now his entire push is just gone. His entire comeback devastated. I don't think he can come back from that. I should take out his junk, but it cost to fall back at least. Oh, I found his recon finally. I'm here to push back in this flank. No, his martyr took out my tanks, actually. I didn't even notice in the midst of the fighting. His martyr has taken out my tanks up here in the north. I rushed my uh, car here, just hoping to see what he has, I think. Knowing I have no use for it, even though I could use it as a well, of course, three armor. I don't know what I was thinking. Complete waste of an armored vehicle. But... Whatever. Now he still has a fighting chance here in the town. He has to get his men into positions. He has the artillery to take it. If he uses his naval warfare correctly and his mortar correctly, he could easily take this town. But I do not believe he will, because he's moving all the men to the tree line. What he needs, to, what I think he should do, is move his men to each building forward over and over again until he gets to my units in the town. Putting his units in this tree line exposes them to my mortars. Um, don't I think he knew about them already, so I don't really know why he did it, but he's still suppressing. Mom off my fighters. Pin down his upper warfare. Very good for me. I control this entire flank now as I control this one. You know to take is the front of the city. I want to take up that unit. Now, okay, Atlas bringing in some more recon.
I'm moving up my marines. I really think he should spend more points reinforcing this flank. I don't know what he's saving up for right now. A guard held his flank for him though, it took out both my tanks and I was not paying attention. When I'm moving my men forward, I think afraid of the artillery strike to come. I believe I can possibly if I could take this if I move forward here. I got that unit. He's tracking my old sniper position. I don't need to readjust his mortar. He also needs to resupply his noble warfare. Focus on center town. Let's see what he can see. So he knows my units are center town here. He doesn't know about any more about anywhere else though. He needs recon. He heavily needs recon. For me, however, I don't know if his one unit is there, but, so I begin to move forward. But I know basically his entire army here, and to all of his units here. And I know that his martyr and his men up here. I know about very little. I don't know about very little. There's very little things on his side that I don't know exist, which is a huge advantage for me. And to this, I don't think he spent enough points in recon this game, which is why he um lost his flanks. I believe, at least I think that's why. I think he could have reinforced this flank a lot earlier and a lot better. I also think that he should have used his noble warfare more effectively and earlier in the city. But he did fight very well in the beginning of the game, but he collapsed. Uh, especially after the rocket barrage, his, in his entire push that he was planning for the city just collapsed. Completely countered by my rocket barrage, because I saw it coming because I had recon. It's those things that I see a lot of people in these, um, in these 2v2s or 1v1s. That just don't buy recon. They just they just push forward with infantry and whatever comes at them they'll take out because they just I, don't know, I guess they don't see the value in it or they just believe that they'll they'll always be fighting frontline battles so they don't need to see the units that are far away because they keep their units on return fire mostly. I don't know exactly what they're thinking, but I just I just that my recon here I believe is the reason I won. Now, phase C of the SSB, they get a humongous amount of very cheap infantry. And no, this is not what I would do, but since I was winning so heavily, I'm like, you know what, I'll just do a massive push on uh, the flank here and this flank here and see what I can do. And uh, you can see, he, got, he had one bomber, he could have ruined my in my entire thing, but even so, he would not be able to take it back by just taking out these units. These units are just uh, finishing below. But he brings in his uh, his strongest unit in this division. I love the Jack Panther in this division. It's a very strong unit. I think you should have. Is it face C only? I believe it is face C only. It is it is great unit for face C, but he just. He didn't have the flanks to hold and push with it, which is the problem. If he had held this flank, he could have pushed with it. I probably would have, you know, Shermans or other things lined up here. But, um, Gear took them out, so he did good in that area, actually. He did good taking out my tanks. I think he did not do good in his taking out my infantry. And this was two infantry divisions, or battle groups, and then he just did not focus on that aspect. He focused way too much on anti tank. He uh, set up a bunch of anti tank guns here and here. When he didn't need them, he needed more mortars or more infantry. And that, I think, caused a downfall of him because I focused more on infantry. I uh, support tank here and I took out a majority of his units. And I was able to push in on these flanks. Now, here, because of the Jagged Painted String, I had nothing to take it out. He's able to take back this land. But it is by far, way too far in the game for a comeback. I have. I saw pioneers and other units ready to do their final push, ready to counter whatever he has left, whatever remnants of his army. 
It's there. I think I'm taking this over for you to take out his martyr. If it doesn't really matter at this point. He completely wipes me out on this flank. But it's just too little too late. And um Yeah, so now I've had I have this entire area covered. But he did finally do a barrage, the whole area is on fire, but I still just have humongous influence over the entire area. He has no way to take this back. People just really forget how how much the game could be won in the early game. And um, a lot a lot of people just uh, put down certain divisions because of how strong they are early game and how weak they become late game. This division, however, has an amazing early game, an amazing late game, but a very not very weak, but a weak mid game, but a weak B stage. Solely because of its of its how how like small they are, it is a you know they get the points of an A stage in their B SSP, but they have good units in it. But you know the balance there is they can't really use them. They have to wait around three reinforcements before they can actually purchase their you know 200 point units like the rocket barrage that I use. But as you see, it works if you spend your points correctly, you use your economy the way you're supposed to, and you can get large amounts of forces ready for a push in C if you have to, or already take it before then. It's just really have to learn how to play your division. A lot of people play every division the same. They'll play every tank division the same. They'll play every infantry division the same. You have to learn your specific battle group and what its strengths are to be able to win these certain things. And I think he was just playing this like a generic infantry division. He wasn't playing it very specific to its strengths. If the second strength relies heavily on its um, air power and artillery. And that's, that's the end. But um, solely on that, I think he should have used better air power than his junkers, even though that he used them amazingly. He um, let me see if yeah, he he took out many of my armored vehicles with his junkers, but he did He took forever to take out my centaur. He all all of these units. He just he could have taken many of them out if he just had the artillery he was supposed to be using. That one level warfer wasn't enough. The 352nd I know has more artillery than that. It has more level warfers. He should have t used them on the town. He didn't. And I just think that was his downfall. And Besides that, Outlaw is a really great player. And it was a great game. And We, we played some more. And I hope to play him again. And uh, thank you guys for watching. And uh, I'll be doing more of these. Alright guys.